Second place there. Um, Are you going to the final? How yeah. you feeling, man? I feel alright. Uh, I think we're a little tired. I think after yesterday, I mean, Boris and I hit it pretty good two days in a row. Um, I felt good. Um, last hundred, I was kind of again able to just gauge where I was and get in smooth. So, you know, I'm excited where I'm at. Uh, you know, now we get two and a half days instead of 19 hours to recover. So that'll be nice. Uh, I think you know, just keep she keep doing what we're doing, put yourself in top three the entire race, and I think I made good things will happen. Okay. What were your thoughts when you you know you go back to the hotel or you know wherever you're staying yesterday? You see Brazier's out, Solomon's out. You know, what do you, what do you react? How do you react to that? Man, I've seen Olympic trials. Anything can happen. Um, you know, you kind of knew that going into yesterday, and that's why you know I ran the type of race I did, and I talked to Boris before the race, and that's how he ran. You know how he did. Uh, can't leave anything with the chance. I mean, the U.S. is so deep that if we try to go out in 54 seconds against guys like Clayton and those guys, I mean, you know, I don't like my chances of that kind of race. So, you know, we decided, hey, take it out in 51 and be able to shut it down a little bit the last 100 meters. So, um, you know, I think I feel strong. And, uh, you know, the less guys that have run 142, 143 that are in the finals, you know, I like my chances better than the so. I mean, do you, like, celebrate when you guys out? No, no, you know. Those are both great guys, you know, I've had a lot of competitions with Dwayne, you know, we've been on some relays together, we've done some exciting things, so we definitely feel for him when something happens like that. You don't have to, you know, celebrate against guys like that, that, you know, have had such great careers, you know, kind of make one mental lapse and their Olympic dreams over. So, you know, no celebrating, just still focus on your race and nothing really changes. Do you feel like you've been a little maybe overlooked coming to this meet? Because you know, very in one indoors, and you, obviously you got the bronze, but then with Murphy and Brazier sort of doing what they've been doing, you were out in Europe maybe running a couple of things. Do you feel like you've been overlooked coming to this? Yeah, I kind of felt the same way as last year. I mean, last year I ran 145.9 in, in Beijing in May and came back around 144.8 here and made the team fairly easily. And I mean, I went over to Asia again. I ran even better than I did last year. You know, I'm in better shape than I was last year. So don't really pay attention to, to anything outside of my race plan. You know, coach is going to sit me down. We'll go through the same plan. We'll be top three at 600, 700, and the last 100, we'll see what happens. So, you know, it doesn't change anything for me. Do you, do you I mean, just trying to win in the final, is that something that's on your mind, or you just focus, like, get top three and make it? No, man. We're here to win. Um, you know, don't come here to take second, don't come here to take third. Obviously, those are great consolation prizes to make the team, but, you know, every time I step on the track, it's to win. And so, we're going to go with the mindset of, you know, we're going to be there at 700 meters and going to lay it all on the line for the W.